So um, now it's actually going to be the, the first talk by a member of the Kupasi team about Kupasi. So this is Payment, and, and he's going to um, tell us about a provenance uh, in Kupasi. Well, it will be the last one also, the only one. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. So it's the only talk about Kopazi itself. And uh, this work is basically done in Manchester uh, by me, Joseph, if you remember from last year, Norman, and Pedro. <clears throat> and it's more about the file, file management and life cycle of file. So, uh, as you are probably familiar with, uh, with editing, so there are, so you start with the model, you do a lot of edit. Uh, at a good time, you, you save it, you use save as, and then you do a lot of more edit and at a certain moment, you want to go back to one of the same one. So, what is hard is to recall what was going on, to go back to, the, to an old version, then restart again, and to remember what was the problem, and then for the new version, uh, you avoid that. So, it's not really an easy task for the brain. It uses a lot of ATP. So, <laughs> so here the aim is to help developer, and hopefully this framework will be useful for the for the whole community. So the easiest thing for one session is something that you are all familiar familiar is undo. So most of program has undo, so you can undo and go one step back. You can redo and go forward, and uh, in in uh, newer release, you will see a nice edit button. By clicking that, you will have the option of undo and redo, and also undo history. So if you click on undo history, uh, you will get a table, and you will see all the edits that you have done in one session. So you can go back to one of these edits and undone fewer steps. So it will be a new option that might be helpful. So by undo framework, we, we can have the information in one session. But unfortunately, modeling usually is not done in one session. It would be nice if you could do in one session a new model, but it's not the case. So for that, we also develop provenance. So provenance basically keep the information between the sessions. Also, it keeps the, the person who did the changes, who did the edits, and the time. So by looking at provenance data, one can figure out what was going on from the beginning. Um, so the provenance data will, will be saved in ProvXML format. So we will have more than one file. And this ProvXML and uh, Kopazi file will be stored in combined archive. So in, in future release, you will see combined archive. And you will see a provenance option. Oh, we have two screens. So you can see the provenance option under the tools. So by clicking on provenance option, you will have a nice browsing table that shows you what was going on from the beginning. And uh, you have a browsing tree uh, on the left hand side and you can narrow down your browse to like compartment, species, reaction, global quantities and events. Uh, and I want to add this that the undo and the provenance currently is just for the model and it does not currently support the task. And there's another user uh, interface for provenance and that is for the provenance of entities. So for example, consider this a species. So you will have an option, a provenance option to select and you will see all the edits appeared over this species. Um, 
So, so that's provenance. And we will add also version. So at any certain place, so any certain point of your modeling, you can create version. And you can restore versions that you created at any time, so it will move back, the model will move back to that snapshot. So in future releases, you will, you will see this version option, and under that you can have create or browse. So, well, I think create is something obvious. If you put create, you can give a name and comment, and you will have a version. And then you can browse the, the a stored version. So, by clicking browse, you will obtain these windows. So, if you want, you can restore a version, or you can delete a version. So, versioning table keeps the version name. The last version, or kind of parent version, that was a stored or created before creating the version, and the person who did the versioning, the time, and the comments. So versioning files will also be uh, stored in combined archive. It will be like Copasi file uh, in combined archive, and this versioning uh, hierarchy will save in an extra XML, uh, version XML file. And uh, some words about the standards. Uh, we use, we use uh, Prov W3C standard Prov DM for uh, provenance data model and Prov XML for, for a storage of provenance and combine archive for versioning and provenance file storage. So I want to thank the, the Composite developer team a team for their ideas, for their support, and sometimes for their codes. So sometimes I got the whole code of my module. And also BBSRC for funding this project. Thank you. Come on. Yeah. So um, I understand how you store the changes, the dates, yeah. and so forth, but you put the name of the person. How does that work? Ah, yes, good question. So we will, uh, we, so in new releases, you see under the preference, the, the user name, the family name, uh, organization, and email. So please go and uh, set it, because it, it won't be set, it will be anonymous. So by that, then all the things will happen automatically. Capacity installation can store a, a, a username, and then that gets automatically added. Um, if you don't want to do it, it will just say that you're any end or other, okay. and so you, you do the changes anonymously. Right. So if <coughs> a robot of mine has this capacity, I have mine, and we change the, the model, yeah. it will have names of both. Yeah. Okay. So the edits you do which will have your name, the edits that your collaborator do, it will keep as his name, and the version that you save will be saved as your name, and then the version that uh, created by the collaborator with it. So, so you're no longer exchanging the Kofasi file, you're exchanging the archive, which has all this meta combined archive. Okay, then uh, thank you, Captain. <laughs>